Do you conduct customer interviews? And if you do, are you getting the most out of them? Speaking to your customers can have so many benefits. And guess what? These conversations have so much repurposing potential too. Keep listening to find out how you can maximize these often overlooked pieces of content. You're listening to the Content 10X podcast, where it's all about content repurposing. I'm Amy Woods, and I'm here to help you maximize your content and find smart ways to get your message in front of more of the right people, whilst also saving time. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to the Content 10X podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, the founder and CEO of Content 10X. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you how to get more value from your customer interviews using the power of content repurposing. So keep listening to find out the benefits of carrying out customer interviews, also how they can become even more powerful content if they are video recorded, and five different ways you can repurpose your customer interviews interviews. Now, before we get into the repurposing part of this episode, I want to share with you why customer interviews are so useful. Now, firstly, you may think your product or your service is very easy for people to use or understand, and you'll have tried your hardest to make it that way. But there's no better way to truly find out how your customers engage with your product or use your service than by asking them the right questions. And when they let you know firsthand what a customer thinks of your business and what their experiences have been like, this can improve your marketing. You can truly understand their pain points more. You can listen to the exact wording that they use and you can ensure that you truly talk to your customer with your content. So that's one reason why customer interviews can be really, really beneficial. Now, second, even if your organization is a leader in your industry, it doesn't always mean that you're serving your clients in the best possible way at that moment in time. Because after all, customer behavior changes and the challenges and solutions change, industries change. And as new competition enters the market, even happy, loyal customers might think twice about the best solution for them. This is another reason why speaking to your clients is so important because this can feed into product and service design. And third, and the main point of this episode, customer interviews make amazing content and showcase material. Testimonials are all well and good, but interviews allow your customers to share their story. And storytelling is what marketing is all about. I love the saying, facts tell and stories sell. So if you repurpose your customer interviews effectively, they can help engage and nurture your audience and draw new customers in through hearing the stories of other customer experiences. So on the surface, interviewing your customers can help your organization understand what is and isn't working so you can improve your retention rate and reduce churn. But they also inform your brand messaging. They help you decide what marketing campaigns to move forward with. And the content coming from these video interviews can even become part of your content marketing strategy. In fact, Customer interviews could help plug gaps throughout the entire marketing and sales funnel so long as you take the right approach. And I always say think about creating content with repurposing in mind. And in this case, it's think about your interviews with repurposing in mind. And very importantly, if possible, make sure the customer interviews are a recorded video interview so that you have that video content. You'll need to ensure that you ask the right questions, of course, so that you get the absolute most out of every conversation. And then the final video, well, that might end up also becoming teaser videos for social media channels. It could become a podcast episode. It could become a blog post or form ideas for a blog post and explain a video and so on, which I'm going to come on to. So now I want to share with you five highly valuable ways to repurpose your customer interviews and really maximize that content. So let's kick off with number one, create a podcast. Podcasts are incredible for connecting with and nurturing an audience, but they can be time consuming to create. And if you have a million other more pressing things to do, then adding a podcast to the list might just be 
impossible. It might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. But how about repurposing your customer interviews into podcast episodes? Interview formats are really common for podcasts, so it can work incredibly well. We've actually seen it work firsthand here at Content 10X, as that's exactly what we helped cloud computing company Linode to do. We repurposed their video calls with customers recorded on Zoom into engaging podcast episodes that their audience could tune into. To find out more about Linode and their services and understand more about their customers' experiences. Now, I spoke to Rob Yogel, Head of Marketing at Linode, all about this project on the Content 10X podcast last year. And he shared some fantastic insights into why these customer stories are so important. Now, you can hear that episode at content10x.com forward slash 215. The episode is called How to Repurpose and Deliver Compelling Customer Stories. So do go check that out. And that interview is another great example right here really because for us that was a customer interview so you can see just how well podcast episodes and customer interviews can go hand in hand so that's the first way that you can repurpose your customer interviews of course the interviews need to be at the very least audio recorded if not video recorded to make this happen Hey, just a little break from this week's episode to let you know about becoming a Content 10X Insider. If you want more content repurposing tips and advice, then why not join hundreds of business owners, marketers, and content creators who get them delivered straight to their inbox once a week by subscribing to the Content 10X newsletter. As well as tips and advice, you get industry updates, inspiring stories, exclusive content offers, and more. You can subscribe at content10x.com forward slash newsletter, and there's a link in the show show notes too. Okay, back to this week's episode. Now, if podcasts aren't your thing, how about turning the core findings from your client conversations into text with some thought leadership articles? So that's my second suggestion. Number two, thought leadership articles. Thought leadership articles are a great format to repurpose customer interviews into. Business Magazine Inc. says that great thought leadership articles address real world business problems. So ensure you plan and structure your customer interviews to show how you work with your customers to solve real world problems. You can share the story and weave quotes from one customer interview or many customer interviews into a thought leadership piece to be published on your website or even syndicated to other industry publications as well. Now, the interviews may even help you to come up with more article ideas as you're likely to spot interesting trends as you have these interviews and create the thought leadership content. So repurpose your findings into awesome articles that help and inform others and cement your position at the forefront of your industry. Now, I mentioned using quotes from your interviews in your articles and the potential for these really doesn't stop there because how about using quotes to create testimonial images? So this is number three on my list and we move now to visual content. So repurpose your customer interviews into social media images. Now be sure to make sure they are eye-catching, especially on social media because it's so noisy out there. And if you're sharing these case study and testimonial images on social platforms, then know that a happy client's words can go a really long way towards boosting your brand's reputation. Now here's a tip. We like to use the website otter.ai to transcribe the interviews and that makes it easier to pull standout quotes from your social media images. It makes it easier to spot them and then pull them out. Now, word of mouth is very important when it comes to helping your audience make a purchasing decision. And that's why these reviews and these customer statements are so effective. So think about distributing these testimonial images as much as possible. A great thing about this as well is that the copy that you can use to share with these images on social media can be really carefully crafted and highly effective storytelling copy because it's based based on the interview. It's based on lots of great content. So that's number three, create some awesome social media images from your customer interviews. Number four on my list of the top ways to repurpose customer interviews is to utilize them for newsletter content. So number four, newsletters. 
If you have an email newsletter, include the stories from your customer interviews, from enthusiastic customer quotes to excerpts to longer informative pieces that can go into your emails. This can help your subscribers get a really good understanding of what your organization helps your clients with every day. This may well go and increase your credibility with your email list and provided your customers are also on your email list, it could even have an impact on retention as well. So that's number four, include content from your customer interviews in your email newsletter. And now number five is social media videos. Finally, if you video record the customer interview, then use that video content on social media. Slice and dice the longer video, find the highest impact, most engaging sections and create short videos for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want, wherever you focus your content and wherever your audience are. So those are my five recommended ways to repurpose your customer interviews. Number one was create a podcast or a podcast series. Number two was write and syndicate thought leadership articles. Number three was to create shareable testimonial images. Number four was to include in your newsletter for your email subscribers. And number five is create and share social media videos. There are, of course, a number of other great ways that you can repurpose your customer interviews, but they were five to get you going. Now, hopefully this episode has given you plenty of ideas about creating this highly valuable content for your marketing strategy and then repurposing it. Perhaps you're inspired by how Linode repurposed their customer interviews and you want to launch a podcast of your own. If you need some help with that, or perhaps you're sitting on stacks of awesome videos and audio content with no time to repurpose it, then we can help at Content 10X. We were the world's first content repurposing agency and we are still the longest running content repurposing agency. We support tech and professional services businesses worldwide with their content repurposing. So head to content10x.com to find out more and see if we could help you get more value from the content that you create. And if you prefer a more DIY approach, then we have lots of resources to help you from our blog to our podcast episodes like this one. And there's also my book, Content 10X, More Content, Less Time, Maximum Results. And you can get hold of that on Amazon or on Barnes & Noble online or just head to content10x.com forward slash book to grab a copy of my book. So I hope this episode has given you lots of food for thought on how you can repurpose your customer interviews. Maybe it's inspired you to go create customer interviews to begin with, and then you are going to maximize their value. If you like the episode, please give us a follow, a rating and review would really be appreciated as well. And all that's left to say is thank you so much for listening to this episode and I will catch you in the next one.